The Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra is an incredibly versatile device from content consumption to content creation, music production, artistry, whatever you can think of, this device really can do it all. And another great thing that this device is great at is being a second screen for your laptop or desktop setup. 14.6 inches, 120 hertz refresh rate, just over 3K. You really can't ask for much more for having a nice little second display that you can just take with you on the go and it works great. Hi guys, my name is Brian Rader and this is Rader Tech. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate your time. So in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at three different solutions for sharing your laptop or desktop screen with your Galaxy device. We're gonna be looking at Samsung's second screen. We're also gonna be taking a look at a product called Space Desk. And we're gonna be looking at a paid solution that's been out for a long time that has a cult following, including myself, and that is Super Display. Super Display is awesome. So first up guys, let's talk about the free solution that's included with Samsung devices, and that is Samsung second screen. Now we've done a video on this in the past, I'll link it down in the description, but let's talk about it a little bit more here so you have a good side-by-side -side comparison with how this equates to the other two solutions that we're gonna talk about. So second screen is basically like wireless mirror cast, which we're used to seeing from Windows devices for a long time now. Let me show you how to set it up real quick, it's really simple, and that's the beauty of this particular solution. In order to enable Samsung second screen, you need a Windows 10 or a Windows 11 PC. All right, it's compatible with most of them. However, it doesn't always work, and we'll, we'll talk about that in just a minute. But to go ahead and get it started, you wanna go ahead and swipe down on your Galaxy tablet, and you're going to see a second screen option. And it's gonna give you some verbiage here to tell you exactly what to do. All right, so you're just gonna press Windows key on your laptop, and you have two different modes, drawing gaming for a faster response and video for smoother playback. We'll go ahead and stick to the drawing gaming for a faster response. We'll go over here to the Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360. You press Windows K. All right, my available devices have showed up. All right, we've got a device in my bedroom and we have the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. We'll go ahead and click on that. You'll see the screen flicker a little bit. The audio is now coming from the Tab S8 Ultra and we now have a second screen. So some pros and cons of using Samsung second screen. So let's talk about the cons real quick. The cons are, is that this doesn't always work. So on my desktop PC, I have to switch my network connection from being automatic to a particular other setting in order for this to work. So it can be very frustrating for a lot of you that are using non-Samsung laptops, non-Samsung devices to get this up and running. Another con that I noticed, there's quite a bit of latency. Let's go ahead and take a look. That's why I've got this mouse out here, guys, so I can do some fast back and forth for you so you can really see what it's like. So here I am. I've latched onto this YouTube window, right? So let's go ahead and go back and forth. Just a little bit of latency. Not too bad, though. Not too bad, as long as you're in this faster response mode. See, it's going pretty good here. If you do notice that it doesn't take up the full screen, I do recommend you just go out to the Microsoft Store and download Samsung Second Screen. It's a little app that'll run on your laptop and you just fire it up one time. And what that'll do is that'll stretch the image to fill the screen entirely. All right, so there's a solution to make sure you get it to be full screen on your tablet. So the pros are it's free and it's super simple to utilize. You just do a toggle right here, right? And then press Windows K on your machine and you just pick the device and you're good to go. And most of the time that's gonna work and you also have the ability to switch your mode, right? So we can go here and press Windows P and we can switch from duplicating, extending, second screen only, and disconnecting from the display. So you have all the usual options that you're used to when using a second display. So that sums up using Samsung's second screen. Next up, I wanna talk about Space Desk. So Space Desk is another free utility that can use. And this is basically a client server based way of getting second screen functionality. What you want to do is just go onto Google and download the Space Desk service, right? So that's just going to be a service that runs on your machine and you can fire it up right here. You see I've already got it installed. This is what it's going to look like. This is just a driver console. We can enable and disable it. Um, you can pick the IP address. You have some different connection settings. And in order to get it working over here, you just want to go over here to Space Desk. There it is. Open up Space Desk. You're going to turn Space Desk on on the laptop, right? So you'll see we have it as an option right here. We're gonna click on this. Boom, there we go. We have second screen now 
on our Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. Let me talk about the pros and cons of Space Desk. I wanna start with the pros this time. So the pros of Space Desk is like Samsung's second screen, it does have audio. You have audio right here, and you also have an on-screen keyboard, and you can minimize a little toolbar, which is pretty nice. Um, you also have the ability, if we go back over here to our laptop, the Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360, we can change our presentation modes, just like before, right? So we can go to duplicate. Watch, I'll go ahead and do that real quick. You see it just switched the mode to duplicate. We can extend, do all this type of stuff. So let's talk about the cons or things like this. Disconnected by server error, you know, it's not very reliable. So let me click OK out of here. Now I got to reconnect. That's not cool. So it reconnected. Um, and there's quite a bit of lag. So let me, let me go ahead and show you that real quick. If we grab this screen here, a lot more lag than Samsung's second screen. I mean, just look at that. You can see where I'm moving my mouse. I'm dragging that window. Just pay attention to the mouse movement. You can hear it too, me wiggling it back and forth. Yeah. So, I mean, this is cool to use in a pinch if you want to use it on any Android type device. This is great in a pinch, but however, as you can see, the lag is a little, it's a little much, um, kind of seems half-baked here, and it's not exactly the most reliable connections. So of the three solutions that we're talking about today, Space Desk is by far my least favorite. It's the one I use the least, um, but the reason we are talking about it is because it is a free solution that will work with all Android devices, not just Samsung, but everything you have. So that's about all I have to say about Space Desk. Again, I'm not a big fan of it. It's just kind of there in a pinch and it's free. All right, guys, next I want to talk about the third and final solution, by far my favorite solution out of all of these. I mean, this solution quite honestly just blows the other two out of the water, especially Space Desk. It's not even a comparison. So what we're talking about now is a very infamous Super Display. Super Display is not a free product. You can download it on any Android device and use it for three days. And after that, it's going to be $9.95 to $14.95, depending on when you get it and if they offer you the promotion. You'll see it within the app on your Android device. It'll have a little nag screen that'll come up, giving you an offer to buy it for $10. Snag it if you see that screen, because $10, it is definitely worth it. Let's talk about Super Display real quick, and we'll dive into looking at it. Super Display is a wired and wireless solution for using any Android device as a second display for any Windows-based machine, Windows 10 and Windows 11, and it is completely compatible. I have yet to find it not work with any device, and I have yet to have any connection problems with it at all. I prefer to use it in wired mode. I've got a USB-C cable running out of the Tab S8 Ultra going right to the laptop. So in order to get Super Display, you just go to their website, Download the service, just like Space Desk. All you have to do is type in Super Display in Google. You'll go right there, it'll be the first link. And then you just look up Super Display in the Play Store and download it real quick. It's a free download. And like I said, it's after three days that you have to pay for it. So we'll go ahead and queue up the Super Display settings on the laptop. And it's just a little tiny window here that basically allows you to enable or disable the service. And then when we open it up over on the Tab S8 Ultra or any other Android device, And there we go, we're all set. So you can minimize this window, all right? You can have it run in the background. And now we have a second display for our Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360. If I go back over here and grab a window, I want you to look at this latency now. None, there is none. When you're connected with a USB-C cable, it is basically zero latency. It is real time. The other cool thing you have with this is you have three different display modes up here. We click on each one of these. By default, they don't do anything, but watch this. I can take this. So instead of switching from landscape to portrait, having to do all these keyboard shortcuts, we can switch this to move mode here. Look what I can do. I can literally rotate the screen like this to where if I have the tablet like this, right, we can put the screen let me get it in view here for you. We can get the screen to move around however you want. And you can change your resolution settings on the laptop to make it fit in here more tightly. Now you're thinking, well, that's kind of silly. Now I got to what, do all that pinching and stuff to move back? No, not at all. Let me show you. So now it's saved as, as the second view. So I can switch back to this one. 
switch back to this one. See what I mean? Look how awesome that is. And then you have a third view to do whatever you want with. So that's really cool. You'll see here too that we have this back button. This actually is like doing a control X on your machine. And you can do this by setting up different shortcuts. You also have the ability to have touch input, have it locked, and then have the move ability, right? For moving the screen like we did, like this. You can zoom in, right? It's so cool, that's awesome. So if you're having a hard time seeing something, you wanna, if you're working with some artwork or something, you can literally zoom in and rotate. It's gonna be so awesome, right? For, for you, those of you that are doing artwork. But the cool thing too, is if we go back here to touch input, we now have full touch input sensitivity for your S Pen as well. Now keep in mind, Samsung's second screen also allows S Pen input, but it's not as robust as the feature set in here. This has a full pin pressure sensitivity, as well as your strokes, and you can go into the settings and really fine tune it. Let me show you that real quick. So now that we're into the settings, we can pick our pen type, where it says here, native stylus, S Pen. We can pick the action, right click, alt, we can basically specify what we want the button click on the S Pen to actually do. We can toggle our different modes. We can show the bar that we talked about earlier with the different view settings. We can also customize the toolbar that we talked about. We can add additional shortcuts down here, right? If I click on this, we can basically put in any actions that we want, give it a name, and save it as a shortcut for clicking on the screen while you're using Super Display. So some really awesome built-in functionality into this app. Um, connect automatically when you're connected allow automatic error reporting. You can pick your sample rate. So basically this is gonna adjust the quality and increase and improve the latency. You can also connect via ADB. If you're doing some troubleshooting or if you're working with a custom ROM on your Android device and you still wanna use second screen functionality, it totally supports it. You can pick the transport resolution coming from the source. You can leave it on the default. That way you can switch with the settings or you can come in here and manually pick it right up front, right? It'll always stick to that every time you connect. You can also use a wireless connection as well if you choose to. So all in all, Super Display is just an all-encompassing screen sharing application. I really do recommend it. It is totally worth the 10 to $15. And keep in mind, guys, that's a one-time purchase for all your Android devices as long as you're signed in to your same account on Google Play. All right, guys, so of all three of the solutions that we talked about today, Super Display is by far my favorite. You have super low latency. You have multiple connection options, right? Wireless, USB-C, ADB. You also have a ton of resolution options. You have the ability to zoom, pinch in, and move the screen around. You can save your settings for each one of your views. You can add custom shortcuts. The list goes on and on. And for at $10 to $15, you really can't beat it. And that's a one-time lifelong purchase that you can use with any of your Android devices. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful to some of you. As always, thanks for watching.